Oh, hey circus freaks. Well, as you know, this Saturday is Valentine's Day. That is absolutely one of my favorite holidays of all time. Cause you know, presents. <laughs> of course, Cruddy doesn't quite feel the same way about it that I do. Anyways, let me give a few tips out there to those romantic guys. First of all, Valentine's Day is not about love. Yeah, no. It is not about sweet little romantic gestures. What it is about is getting the most expensive gift. Oh yeah, expensive. Doesn't matter if you go into debt. Doesn't matter if you have to take out a fifth mortgage on your home. Doesn't matter if you have to sell kidney, lung, liver, brain, soul. I'm writing a deal on those, by the way, so I'm giving top dollar, so. Remember, kids, if it's not expensive, it's offensive. If you know what I mean. Anika! Now, this is important because if you cheap out, that girl you've had a crush on since high school? Yeah, well, she's instead gonna be bumping uglies with your best friend who bought her this beautiful diamond studded tennis bracelet. <laughs> just look at it sparkle. It's just it's so magnificent and not at all ethical. <sighs> Blood diamonds. Whew. Oh, well. I'll just talk, uh, Makes me want to have a little bit of me time, so if you'll just excuse me a few moments. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That was fun. It's a good time. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, Valentine's Day tips. Okay, so, all you married men out there, just because you put a ring on it, don't mean you should be getting lazy now. Yeah, you get her a card and just chocolates for Valentine's Day, I guarantee you, she will be playing the skin flute for some office guy who got her a $500 Saks Fifth Avenue gift card. Oh, yes. And then you'll be there wondering why every night it's all of a sudden, Oh, baby, I can't do it. I got a headache again. Yeah, yeah. Let me let you in on something. It ain't migraines. It's just... She's... boning somebody else. <laughs> and for all you ambitious ladies out there, well, I like to take a whole bunch of these little plastic hearts Aren't they cute? And I put a little note in them that says, from your secret admirer. Then I slip in a picture of my breast and a time and a place to meet. <laughs> that guy cannot get to the restaurant any quicker. And while he's sitting at the restaurant, I'm at his home stealing all of his stuff. Sup? Bam. And he's just sitting there looking like a chump. I said chump, not chimp. Ugh, amateurs. Well, anyways, you may say that that is a little mean. And I say to you, is it? Is it really? Because I'll tell you, my friends, these little hearts bring a lot of hope to a lot of losers. Good deeds always come around. You remember that. And speaking of good deeds, if a guy breaks up with you before Valentine's Day, I suggest cutting teeny little hearts into his tires. That way, he knows that you're still thinking about him, but he'll never be able to prove it. 
and knives are a lot easier to hide than empty gallons of gasoline. I'm just saying. Anyways, happy Valentine's Day, circus freaks. It